In this video I'll be unboxing the Lenovo ThinkPad L512 laptop. So looking at the box it's pretty basic on the front and back. Back is exactly the same as the front. And then the side is basically the same on both sides. And the reason is that it's meant to be like really recycled packaging so it's environmentally friendly really. So let's cut into it. This laptop has an Intel Core i5 processor. Um, I can't exactly remember the clock speed, I'll find it in a second. It's a dual core, but it's got hyper threading and uh, ter turbo boost technology from Intel in it. It's got 4GB of DDR3 RAM and a 320GB hard drive. This is the higher in the range L512. There's also one with an i3 processor, 2GB of DDR3 RAM and a 250GB hard drive. So I went for the slightly more expensive one for the better process, but mainly because I want a bit more than 2 gigs of RAM. So, here it is. I got this from eBuyer. I can't remember the price, it was about 700 and something. I'll find the price later. It'll appear probably on your screen. It'll have it on your screen now. I'll put it on, but I'll it here. Okay, so, there it is. Okay, so just look on the top. Very basic again with their Lenovo's recycling thing they're doing. It's trying to keep it environmentally friendly. So, Take this up and let's see what we have. This little box thing, which didn't really go for the Lenovo's recycling thing, considering it's a box that contains a bag that hardly fits in the box, so they've sort of wasted their recycled packaging in there. But anyway, it's a little bag of stuff. Let's see what's in here. Okay, we have. So let's see what we have. Stuff to take out the box and checklist, some stuff to putting in the battery, just instruct general getting started instructions, a little tool to the laptop, um, and some stuff like that. Stuff like the design, where everything is, what all the buttons do, and some help and support handle do not drop, bump, scratch, twist, hit, vibrate, push, or put heavy objects on your computer. Yes, I've always thought I want to drop my computer, it will not damage it. Why do you need to put that? I don't know. In this box here, we'll have. Let's see, I'll get this out of the way. Yep, this is the power charger, this is the, the charger, so this is the main power brick. Very, very nice one actually, it's nice and small. Because my current laptop is old, 1998. It's got all, like a massive charger in it, you can hardly fit it in a bag. And then there's the other mains lead, UK obviously, that's fine, that's where I am, and a sort of clover leaf three pin thing to go into the other end. And here we have the laptop's battery, which, well, it's good. The only thing that is, I have I have not got in the, in the packaging is recovery discs, so I'll probably have to, which is a pain, I do like getting physical discs with the machine. Not the end of the world, but I'll probably have to then you know, down, um, it's not download them, get them, probably have to create them off the machine, hopefully it's got some way to create it. So it's actually have to take the machine out of the box. This one I dropped and it all goes wrong and I feel very dumb. Okay, so how do you do this? Okay, so it's sort of under two sort of, very, sort of rubbery things, but they've got cardboard with the environmental friendly stuff. And there we go. And there we have the laptop. Some light as well, it's quite nice. The battery's obviously missing, so that'll add some weight, but the battery did not feel that heavy earlier. And I'll just get it with that, it's obviously nice to do that. There we go, it feels very nice, nice and light. On the top here, we have a little Energy Star logo, ThinkPad logo. On the bottom, well, pretty self explanatory, really. You've got the covers, stuff, battery bit. Yeah, with the COA, um, it's Windows XP Professional 64 bit, in case anyone's wondering. So it's the docking station, slot a battery in there, Your ports on the side, I will hold it upside down, I don't know, ports on the other side. Very nice, so let's open it up and see inside. Obviously I'll do a few, full review of this later, so we're going to take a quick tour around the machine, so that's it inside, very nice. It's a nice keyboard, so a very nice keyboard to type on. Feels very good quality, touchpad, sort of bumpy but quite nice. Oh. Or trackpoint, you know what people call it. Little buttons, fingerprint reader, that's quite a nice addition. 
uh, these little button lights and stuff. Speaker under the screen, webcam, nice matte screen of glass because it's I'm not a fan of glossy screens, especially in sunlight. So there you go, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. And also stand by for my review and my review video later. You can also visit my website at camerangray.me. Thanks for watching.